from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Live from Los Angeles. It's time for the main event. My next big thing is Thanksgiving weekend. It was on the 25th. Boo boo. No, 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 boo. Well, oh, Foxy. Boo boo versus uh, Benavides. <laughs> he said Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween ain't his birthday. He's like, my birthday next week. That's the next week. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> podcast, y'all. Showtime, Sean P, and with two T's. And the guest that we got cuddled up over there is uh, just some instant friends. Um, people, of course, uh, fans of the podcast, fans of of Showtime, Sean Porter. Those are two different entities, if you didn't know. Did you know that, Ant? Two different entities? I don't even know what that means. Talk to me like I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself real quick. I go by Arnold A. Double A. Arnold A. Double A. <laughs> You're not about to be on the podcast again, so <laughs> you're like, hey, I'm not, this official. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Your name? Oh, I'm Alexis. I go Alexis. by Honest, though. Okay. You go by Honest. Yeah, I go by Honest. How you, you go by Honest? You be lying. I don't be lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. yeah, I'm pretty like honest. The eyebrows. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. Too. <laughs> she'll be lying. <laughs> when the eyebrows Yeah, go she'll cut you out in a minute. So listen. Um, I mean. <laughs> she cut me off while I was at the fights last night at the mm-hmm. Cosmo and just had some of the most, um, I, things I've heard before, but you know, and it's like I told uh, Hafey, I don't get a lot of love inside the space when I'm here, you know, so I invited Alexis <laughs> and, and her man. <laughs> Uh, they come down and uh, just, just kind of, double A, okay? And just talk to me, talk to, talk about me a little bit, you <laughs> okay, know what I mean? Okay. So, but no, um, you you and you're a fan of the podcast, so I just wanted you to come down yeah. and check out the show. I know a lot of y'all been wanting to do this. <laughs> Chirp at us. We're going to start. Like like Ann said, what, what kind hey, of... I, walk, I, I, I walked in here and said, what the hell's going on? I'm going to be honest. I, I was like, who's this? I'm like, do I know him? <laughs> Nah, every nigga, every black nigga ain't famous. I ain't gonna front. Like, I'm just confident in myself that, like, I know that I can bring people in. I read people. You can like, read people, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. they gonna make it happen. Don't get me wrong, man. Some of y'all are weird. Yeah. 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 I just keep talking to y'all because I don't want y'all to murder me one day or something. But I want to give y'all five minutes just so that y'all can show me all the love that this man doesn't. Um, <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Favorite, favorite fight of mine? Favorite fight. Um, man. And why? So many to choose Alexis, from. I go right off the too. spot. You don't even look like you thinking, Alexis. Oh, okay. that's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm throwing you I'll off. Say, I'll say this for me. I'll say Danny Garcia when you fuck, fuck mm, Danny Garcia. Yeah. Yeah. You always showed, get something different from everybody. Yeah. You got you made yeah. up a lot of adjustments in that fight. Yeah. You showed him a lot of different angles. Yeah. You look really fast. Yeah, man. Thank you. So, yeah, what I like that you, fight. Alexis? It was a Keith Thurman fight. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That fight. I was just like the way you was going at him. Yeah. It was like a level of more to combat. Like he didn't want to reach. Yeah. Like and it was just like <laughs> level yeah. of more to combat. We was we was that's saying good, it, we was watching man. it. That's good. I was just we was we was yeah, you, that's that's when I was just like stuck. That's when I became like yeah. crazy things when I heard you say that, like the first thing that came to my mind is like he's a part of that too. Mm-hmm. Like you said that Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah it, it was crazy. Was going, you know what I mean? It yeah. was crazy. And I'm like, he's a part of that too. You're that character in Mortal Kombat that nobody wants to rematch. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember like, like that, he kept showing me the Sean videos. Porter, you want to fight Sean Porter one time. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't blame him, him though. Like I've seen it. He didn't want to do it again. Yeah. He didn't want to do it again. He showed me the yeah. videos and y'all was going back and forth like oh, behind yeah. the scenes. You could tell. Yeah. yeah. You could tell. That's my boy. Yeah. You could tell. You could yeah, tell. he won it. You did a lot to his body. You could tell. How long y'all been watching the podcast? Oh man, Shoot. how long you been? Like, we've been like, on for three, three years. years. Yeah, yeah. it's been three years. Three years. years. I yeah, yeah. when you Since started, we've been like, together. Yeah. yeah, actually, he put me on to you. Before Since you even together. had the studio, yeah. I was watching. This, Who y'all so. miss more, uh, Carson or Zatel? Um, oh, I'll say Carson. Yeah, Mostly Carson. Carson. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Carson was cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Carson was cool. Are y'all cool with the podcast? Was it just me and Ant? Y'all cool with it? I'm cool with that. He's I don't know. He put his head nice in. I mean, because I mean, like, you, you, you be having guests, it, you have guests to come yeah, through. Yeah. So it I took mean, some adjustment. Yeah, yeah. It was even adjustments yeah. on me and Sean. Yeah. We got up here like, yeah. hey man, you shoot. Now I'm gonna shoot <laughs> like it. Yeah. And we hoop, and then yeah. we kind of getting it down now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have guests come through. I think that also makes it, you know, even more exciting yeah. to us too. Prior to um, Carson and, and Zatel making a voyage away from the podcast, mm-hmm. if I was gonna fire somebody on the show between Ant. <laughs> To tell and, and Carson which one who 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 should I fire? Who should I have fired? <laughs> who take up the most space? 
<laughs> that's the that's that's thing about it. <laughs> Keep that thought. I like it, though. I like yeah. it. What do y'all like most about the podcast? I just like, I mean, really from you, that's I just like the perspective yeah. of it coming from a box of someone that truly experienced it. Yeah. You hear so many people talk about boxing, never took a punch. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, it's coming from you. Like, How long you been watching fighting, boxing? Oh, man. I want to say um, I used to be... So I made a transition. Like I was a huge UFC fan. I used okay. to love like um like John Jones kind of messed up UFC for me. So mm. that's when I mm. went all into boxing. Oh wow. Yeah. So I wanna say like I've been glued to boxing ever since it was Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley. Mm. Is when I started. Glued like, in for a yeah, minute though. Really been sticking Very to good. watching boxing. Very good. Mm-hmm. If there was something you wanted to see on this podcast, what would it be? Do you um, think? Do you know? Or somebody or somebody. Oh, Terrence I mean, Crawford. Say yes, you okay. mean I like to you see Can- on? like to see call? Canelo up here, you see, know, talk that. about that fight with Jamel, oh. you know. Yeah. You we ain't know. been able to lock him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like he's that, that'd be cool. Too, so. Like Canelo. Canelo. Yeah. I mean, I like David Benavidez too. Yeah. You could bring him you through. Like he's about to fight Boo Boo, right? Yeah. yeah. He never used to like David Benavidez. Homie, I love David Benavidez. What are you talking about? It's one of my favorite boxers. Jose Benavidez. You talking? Yeah, I'm talking about David. I like David Benavidez. No, you didn't. Huh? <laughs> David Benavidez, you honest. talking about? She calls him octopus hands. <laughs> whoa, 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 he got fast hands doing like, combos. Like, like, out of nowhere, like, 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 like people, people be looking piece, all around. You know? They be like, it just, they just can't, they can't catch yeah. it. They can't catch it. Yeah, David and Benavidez he just, is by far he likes one of my it. favorite to watch. on his yeah. face. He gets hyped once they get hyped. Yeah, so I'd love off. to see him and Boo because but he didn't like him. This is new. What? This is new today. What are you talking about? This is today news. <laughs> no, she just looked at her watch. Like, oh, hold up. Rewind that. She looked at her watch. Oh, like, my God. That's she all I always mixed up. I love David no, Benavides. What are you talking about? Break, we always watch David Benavides. But hold up. Cuts go we, real, Break we, down we, David and, and Boo Boo real quick. Break that down so the people know you know what you're talking man, about. Man, um. Double A. David's a monster, like you know what yes. I mean. He just has those combos. He, like I said, he throws those eight pieces, those ten pieces. Eight but like pieces. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, he be in you know what I'm saying. Like he, he might throw them ten pooping. pieces. Probably three of them to get through. But those three are crucial. Yeah. Like yeah. he has that thumping power with yeah. that. I don't yeah. think he has that one shot power, but yeah. it's like a whole bunch of like you know wear and tear with those combos. I personally think that the the dynamic of the fight between Boo Boo and Dave mm-hmm. is gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, what do you think you think? I think he, I think Boo Boo's gonna make him think. Mm. I think he's gonna make him think. I That's think he's gonna, gonna use fight. movement. Yeah, but I think he's gonna make David have to adjust. But he's gonna have he's to gonna do. He's gonna be tested yeah. by David for sure because he has to earn David's respect. Yeah, ultimately, I yeah. think is what he has to establish. Yeah. Alexis, you got anything to add yeah, to this who, who quick podcast? five minutes? Who I want to see on podcast or who yeah. I want to see like fight who David? Who you want to see on our show? On this show? Because he said Canelo. I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, the Charlos because I feel like... Yeah, we, we had... They got some explaining to do. They got some explaining to do. I want, I want, I want somebody to actually like... Yeah, like, really, <laughs> like, yeah, like really yeah, they press they got the some questions to do. because That's what I think. the last fight, the last two fights for Jamel for me... Like I used to like when he first put me onto them, I'm like, ooh, like so. <laughs> I, I like watching them fight. I'm not gonna lie in the beginning, but psh, the last two fights of Jamel made me not be like even both of their fans, ooh. like at all. Damn, that's messed up. Because that's how everybody it, feels. It makes it makes Jamal look weak in my the perspective. Because I guess yeah, yeah, like, they this... show too much of their personality. So like in these days, people don't go just off of like your skill. They go off of what like what, what like else you put out there. Yeah. And yeah. like the way his brother like can I say the word bitch? Yep. All right, there <laughs> we go. All right. The way his brother's like bitching him online and like through social media and stuff and like his family like disrespecting his wife and stuff like that too. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's you sit lot. here and just throw your fights away just because you catch uh what, catch, catch a check. check yeah. yeah, it just look like it's you know lot. all y'all weak. You it's just you just hear just a you might as well fight. What did I say last time? Yeah, you might as well fight like Jake so Paul or somebody. If you want to do something like that, like, just fight Jake Paul and like and get, to get the money. Fight. Like because yeah. you're not really you're not that was a throw because you've seen like <laughs> different like moments where he really could have done something, but I feel like he was like nah, let me chill out. Like I don't know, and like they were like, remember we was like, like they whispered yeah. like, you know, you got this, you, I got this. It's like, funny. Like, it was just, it was weird. It's funny you it say that. Weird. I was watching the epilogue, everything this weekend, and uh, I want to apologize to Derrick James. <laughs> I, I'm giving, I'm going in on him. He was telling him what to do. I told you that. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Yeah. He got to see the fight. Hey, I apologize because he was telling him what to do. <laughs> At one point, he said, and dropped his head. Yeah. It's like I'd have told you everything. Mm-hmm. You literally a punching bag, like she said. It was like he was just here for a check. Yeah, you robbed us. Yeah, you, yeah. You robbed that. You robbed PBC that night. You robbed boxing. Fans. The most shocking thing yeah. that night was Lubin. 
I mean, like, mm. like okay, like, I'm not gonna lie. I was rooting for him because I knew for everybody black, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. but like, it was just the point hey, that I was still taking no we both, victory. Though. We both, yeah, we both. But yeah. once it happened, our mouth just dropped. We was like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. okay, I was happy. okay. Yeah. But we knew what we seen just through us all. And you know, normally, normally I like, like, even when it was like what David Hanley and uh, who else was he fighting? And everybody thought he lost. Devin Haney oh, and, uh, Loma Loma yeah, Chango. Yeah, like everybody yeah. thought he lost, but like the way the way we watched it, like you can tell, like the way like Devin was just like sticking to like straight boxing, mm -hmm. like so like he was actually like doing the body shots. They wasn't paying attention to in the beginning, so he won the beginning of the rounds. Mm -hmm. Like so, it made sense. Lubin, I mean, congrats, black. But it was just like <laughs> it was just that it was just it threw us all off. But I mean, we was yeah. we was you know we take that. Like you said, we take it. Yeah, it was great. Take it. We didn't say this last week, good but job. I think well, um, it's a gift. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's like Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Black History Month. <laughs> the, keep yeah, they always, they always won. Yeah. Ramos, you see needs my to shirt? Rise needs up. To push for a rematch. <laughs> yeah. Ramos needs to push for a rematch. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean Hell he definitely do. Sure. I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's for gonna sure. be interesting though. It was, it was kind of dry still to me. I mean, I just hope it was good in the beginning, but it got dry at the end. And Lubin still kept it like the slow pace the whole time. Rematches are always gonna be better than the first fight. I think Lubin's going through that. Adrian Broner, you know what I'm saying? He did bring that. Where he's we'll getting trigger it. happy, you know, that Adrian Lube. Broner mode. We're uh -huh. getting to that turtle show mode yeah. all the time, you know? You yeah. Know, letting them hands go. I thought he was going to pull it off, but yeah. that that was very... That was, it was kind of set up for him to do it. Very yeah. skilled. Before he lost he to Jamel, focused on his I was stamina, like, I feel like. Before he fought Jamel, I was like, he got this through might the whole be the match. one that gives Jamel problems. But is this how like, y'all relationship is? Y'all like talk over each other? <laughs> yeah, I'm about yeah, to I mean, transition hey, to my counseling. <laughs> see, like, yeah, see, you can, transition you, you, to my you counseling. Catching the vibe, you yeah. catching the vibe. Yeah, you got to be able to go both. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm hearing both. I'm I just like cuss up on my mom and my dad. I'm like, I got okay, I got. I just want to help improve their relationship. That's all. That's all. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. We matching together. I heard what he said. We collecting it. No, for real though. Before we let y'all get out of here, I just wanted to say. Thank you for pulling me to the side. All of the nice words that you said about me was was they were awesome. And then just so that y'all know, um, she wanted to take a picture, but she's working. Are you technically security? Yeah, I'm, I didn't look like I was secure. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, what? Be, what? Other, what? I didn't look like I was secure. Oh, what? I didn't... Other oh. people be host like she was host, working. Excuse, yeah, I was. Let me take you to the scene. <laughs> Yeah, and but she, yeah, yeah, yeah. You live here? And, yeah, I live here now. And talk me all the way out the door. Yeah. <laughs> How you I live all here now. Yeah, talk me, talk me all the way out the door. So now it was, um, it was, it was like God. It was, I was placed in the right place at the right time. I was Each trying time. to get her to get a Each picture, time. and yeah. she didn't want to. She didn't want to take the picture. I said, forget it. So I took a couple shots. I said, so it ain't no funny business. Give me your your man's number. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. so that's how we got yeah. connected, right? So then he sent me a message. About how you know how awesome it was, da 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 da. I was like, you know what, y'all come down for a minute, and, okay, you know, okay. check out the podcast. Awesome. So, yeah, okay. just want I love me. Oh, he fans. wanted. To, yeah, yeah, I was awesome. talking about how it made my day because work was a little bit, yeah. but like it was it, the way like just meeting you was just like it yeah. was just dope. And I couldn't tell him like ironically, I know it's too much, but ironically I had the house key, so I locked him out the house, so he couldn't get in the, out the house yesterday. So he was stuck. <laughs> just, he was stuck for like eight hours. He was stuck for eight hours outside. Eight hours. <laughs> Eight hours. He got off at three thirty. What uh, seven? Like yeah, that. and I didn't get off until ten thirty. So he was stuck yeah, out the right. house, and I didn't get home till like eleven. And I couldn't so, watch the fight because my phone was dying. Yeah. So yeah, he was on eight percent like for like eight hours somehow. I don't know, but like yeah. yeah so it like made. Y'all still, still together? Y'all still together? But we had a good night. We had a good uh, night. Oh, all right, cool. We had a great night. <laughs> cool. You came in here happy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I got the, yeah. It, it made all the sense. So yeah. he and, was happy last night. Yeah. Like once, once we like you know like when eleven like no like what, what, one o'clock we was good. Yeah. So and, and with that being said, that's my thing. My thing. I love. <laughs> you already know I love encouraging people and things like that. But mm -hmm. I love putting smiles on people's faces yeah. and making making people happy. You know what I mean? So, um, it was great to meet you, Alexis. Like, Glad I was thanks. able to run it to you. Meet you, Double A. Like, uh, don't come back. <laughs> uh, but uh, and there's no clean way to, for the exit because we don't have an ad today. So, mm. oh, this show, social media is whatever, whatever y'all want to do. Uh, oh, well, my social media is honest. Yeah, hold on. You How you gonna cut me off? Oh, right, no, she can go first. Right. first. Right. He don't. He, your finger was like right here <laughs> too. Like I almost bit you. Like it was just right here. <laughs> See, I ain't the only one. <laughs> it was like I don't know what you was trying to me smell <laughs> or something. Big ass oh, finger. Okay, yeah, it was definitely big. <laughs> The hell? <laughs> I was following in shit. All right, all right, so let's do it. All right, so my social media is Honest Beauty with three Y's. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> RF underscore SW. That's it. I hope everybody just fast forward through that. Yeah, they're going to like, skip. It's okay. <laughs> they probably skip through this whole podcast, part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to try to talk loud enough so y'all can hear us from out there. 
And uh, y'all stay as long as y'all want to stay. For sure. Well, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, so that was Double A and Alexis. Appreciate them for coming to the podcast. Yeah, great today. energy. Yeah, great energy, Fun and um, that definitely was what made me even content, even think about having them come over here. They said they was a big fan of yours. You know what I mean? So appreciate it. I went to the fights last night. Everybody wants to know where's Ant. So I, hey, I wasn't doing that last night. If you would have hit me, I would have went. Yeah, you know, no, I was, I was went with was supposed to go with my um, business partner who I'm doing some things with, and he didn't. He didn't get out of get in town in, in time, so we didn't catch up till oh, okay. after the fights. Hey, you should yeah. let me know. I definitely would have went. I wasn't doing nothing. Uh, real quick, I so there's one part of this of 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 the Zordo. Well, actually, there's two parts, I guess you could say. The Zordo and the and the Joe uh, Joe Smith. Smith fight. Yeah, I mean, I guess as a whole, what did you think about the fight? I thought it was competitive. People want to know about that. I thought it was competitive. A lot of people were like, yeah. I thought, I thought was- he. So the the fight was scored like. Nine rounds yeah, to I'm one. Not, yeah, I'm not. And I, but Hell realistically, nah. I thought I thought Joe might have won two or three more rounds. Seven three. But it was possibly been, six four. Really? I He's mean, possibly. okay. But I'm going seven three. I can see eight two seven three. Yeah. At the end of the day, I thought Joe did a lot, but still, he didn't do a lot enough mm-hmm. in practically every round. He had good rounds. Um, and I had him win two of the later rounds too. So, okay. um, no, 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 two of the mid rounds. Okay. So like round yeah, six and sure. seven okay. or six and eight, something like that. Whatever the case may be, I just thought that he didn't do enough, even though he, you know, he showed solid, it was a solid work night, but he just didn't have enough in a lot of the rounds to win rounds, you know? And definitely, uh, you know, I think at one time he was to consider retirement. Yeah. So I think this fight got him off the couch. Yeah. Definitely performed well, but you know Joe. Joe's tough. Street tough. Then he pushed Bernard Hopkins out the ring just to do No, nah, he didn't push him out the ring. He knocked him. Still not happy with him about that, but <laughs> I won't say it to his face. Him. Yeah. But you know, Joe gonna come in and battle. Uh Zerto was good, man. He, the movement. I seen him one time do a Sean Porter spin. He That's no crazy. Sean spin. I at one time I seen him do a Sean Porter spin. Yes, I definitely seen a Sean What's Porter crazy? spin. What you doing right now? <laughs> that that's crazy, but yo, I seen it. the movement was great from Zerto. He looked fresh. He learned a lot in the Bevo loss. I felt he stole a little a couple things from Bevo, that's and what you're supposed to do is it? Hell yeah! You know that's how you get better. Okay, yeah, I felt like he stole a lot from Bevo in the in the loss and got better and kind of showed something. And I like the way boxing going. They both one lost to Better Biv and one lost to Bevo, uh-huh. and eventually they dated guys that supposed to fight, yeah. and then they lose and fight each other. Yeah. That's old school boxing to me. And that was my thing with this fight. While I thought that Zordo clearly handled Joe and won uh-huh. the fight, I thought that he he didn't look the same as before he fought Yeah, Bivol. yeah. Before he fought Bivol, it was, I'm coming to get yeah, you. Yeah, we just put, I'm going to break you down. Yeah. Um, while I was watching the fight last night, I'm going to go ahead and say this is lightweight disrespect. But he was like, even though I know that there, he's a weight class above Benavidez, I'm like, he's, he's a bootleg Benavidez. Where he's trying to initiate a lot of pressure and things like that, but the breakdown ain't the same, the skills ain't oh, the okay. same, mm-hmm. the, the the list goes on. Okay. You know? But another, you know, for the sake of words, big Mexican with with some pop, you know. Um, but last night I said, I feel like where we saw him box a little bit more, mm-hmm. I didn't see him with killer instinct last night. Okay. And that's where I'm looking yeah. at, and I'm like, okay, did this b ball fight take Killer Instinct out of you? Yeah. Because before it was, I'm coming to get you, chainsaw, you chainsaw. Can. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't see that last night. So he after the fight, he said, I'm back. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm ready for bells and stuff like that. I was like, are you really back though? Because yeah. I saw tentativeness. You know what I mean? It was moments where he would turn Joe and everybody around. Me. He's like, "You go, go, go!" And it's like he's just not going yeah. to initiate the way he used to. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's what happens when you get punched in the mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? And B-Ball clearly punched him in the mouth. You know? But like at the same time, you said he learned something from that loss, but he also felt like he lost something in that loss. Yeah. You're saying? Well, like yes. Okay. Because my fight when I fought Keith Thurman, I definitely when that fight was over, I knew. Just gotta be more patient. Mm-hmm. I fought good about against Keith. Yeah. I fought better based on my fight with uh, with um, uh, uh, Kell Brook. Okay. But but my thing, I was like, damn, I still gotta be more patient. Yeah. 
But as you can see, that did not turn off my ability to be aggressive. You know what I mean? Understanding that me being too aggressive yeah. and impatient with Keith got me caught a couple of times. Yeah. Rounds that were that were my rounds, I got caught and then probably lost them rounds. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so after that, fight, I was like, I still got to be more patient. But it didn't take my killer instinct away. It didn't take my ability and mentality to be aggressive. And I felt like his mentality to be aggressive was practically not there at all last night. I'm going to spin this real quick. You think you could have outboxed Kell Brook and Keith Thurman? I could have outboxed Kell. Keith, his rhythm and his style. Wouldn't allow you. It, it would it would have been, it would have been, it would have been like the chess match. You know what okay. I mean? Kind of like, so like Crawford. Yes. Yeah, it would have been more like Crawford. Okay. Yeah, it would have okay. been more like Crawford. I was just wondering that. It's fights that people don't want to see, but Keith is still a good fight against Justin. Hey, Martin if you would have did that, they'd have booed the shit out of both of y'all. Hey, I'm going to be honest. Uh -huh. you if you Bro, they booed boo when I fucked you. They yeah, I, I, I booed. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that fight. Not that fight. <laughs> what you mean, not that fight? <laughs> what, what fight you booing? We went that one. Hey, what the fuck? About he it. said, not that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Hey, keep going. I, second round, people booing. I'm like, it can't go yet. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I was just wondering, like, I never I, I always thought about like if Sean would have did that, Kel Brook. It may be some things y'all don't agree with that I say. <laughs> I assure you. Uh -huh. Up until, and y'all know Keith got gas issues, but until that gas tank starts to run on E, he's a good fight against anybody. Come on, you man. You don't want to hear it. No, no. If you think about it, Keith was the guy, man. Yeah. Keith just ain't fighting. That That's it. Yeah. And I think just the rust and everything's catching up with Keith. Yeah. Hey, suppose we might get Keith this year. But before the end of the year. Uh, is that is, You heard that's confirmed? I mean, I, you know, I talk oh, to yeah. my boy every oh, yeah. now and then. Okay, shout out to Keith Thurman. Supposed to be in an undercard, maybe what is the main event? That's oh, crazy. Oh, Amazon, did they say? Uh, no, they ain't say Amazon. They ain't oh. say Amazon. So oh, not yet? I think it's showtime. I ain't got no I heard you coming Amazon back. yet. So. I heard you coming back. From to what? Yeah. It's Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, Sean Porter. What'd you Porter. say? Is this 2014? You, you, hey, you the opening route. The <laughs> opening bout. Yeah, how you like that? The hell out of you here. You the opening bout. I ain't no opening bout to them three, them three dudes. <laughs> oh, man. That'll be, that'll be amazing. Who... So I, I'm clearly main event if 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 the three of us is on a card, but nah, Sean, with Mayweather, I'm clearly the main. event. No, 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 not with Mayweather. Okay, I'll, yeah, okay, with Danny, Danny, Keith, and me. I'm yeah, main. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm main event. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> who co-main? Danny. Danny co-main. Yeah. Ooh. Now take this back, 2012. You might be opening. Uh, Danny Coleman, Keith Keith Main. To be honest with you, and no, oh, you, you could back. Went, you if we, if we go back to that? 2012, Danny was probably was probably the main? the main. Yeah, if we go back that far, because he he at 140, he just had he got to it quicker than us at 140. Oh, okay, okay. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, if you think about yeah, my 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 route was clearly more like slower and methodical. Mm -hmm. Keith was it just was let's put him in front of him so he can knock him out. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's what he was doing. Okay. So, but uh, we gotta see both them guys back. Yeah, man, I would love to get those guys. I guess maybe one forty point one fifty four or announce your retirement. Like, Ooh, let's stop. Yeah. Let's stop. Just stop faking the funk. Join you or fight. Join me, so we can kick this off the off the. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. hey, every week somebody said, "Man, is, what, is Sean really gonna kick y'all?" I said, "I ain't going nowhere." Okay, uh, Sean goes to another show. You gonna see Anthony right there with him. I'm gonna be. I'm being Sean in camera, like, yeah. So we a four way podcast. <laughs> but uh, hey, so uh, what do you think uh, Zordo go from here? Rematch? Uh, I said give him Colin Smith fighting. Uh, I think better BF. I think that's fights coming up. Colin Smith, but uh, he's in a tough position because better BF and Bevo. Yeah, that dudes are different. Those are number one and number two. Yeah, I don't think he can beat better BF because he's not fast enough. Okay. We saw uh, some good movement from him last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, And we saw some good boxing from him. Of course, what I'm talking about, I didn't see that killer instinct. Let's give him credit. He was mm -hmm. patient. You know what I mean? Didn't, didn't rush in and take no unnecessary shots, you know? Um, he still showed he's durable because mm -hmm. he took some shots from Joe, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but, you know, is Joe durable? We, we've we always known Joe to be durable, but there wasn't, I don't think, one point where we saw Zerto hurt Joe. You get in the ring with Ben Beef. Or or Bevo, you gotta you gotta hurt them. 
Yeah, otherwise they come coming. Hurt them. And you're going to get hurt or yeah. you're going to get beat. Yeah. Take so, it how you want it. I think he's in that the tier just below them two guys. Okay. He can be the Joe Smith. He can be just about anybody uh, in that weight class but those two. Um, better, I think he would he would have a better shot against better B. Uh, the fight with Bevo is always gonna look the way that it looked. Okay, it, it's gonna be a one sided fight. You know, they got a lot of a lot going on in boxing, Sean. Things are changing. Yeah, cable network coming to an end. Yeah, uh, it's messing up my plans. Is it? It's messing up my plans. Sean, is it possible one day where we can get us all under one banner? I see. Shout out to I got this from Showbiz. Shout out to my man Showbiz. Is it possible one day we can have PBC, Golden Boy, Top Rank, I guess, Matchroom, all under one banner one day? I mean, the banner is boxing. <laughs> so no, I think that's no, as close no. as we're going to get. Dang. Yeah, I think that's the Dang. closest we're going to get. Yeah. Because when you think about it, they have now created, this is the program. Okay. And the program revolves around, this is my promotional company. These are my fighters. These are the fighters that I promote. Mm-hmm. And is it? It's not. This is my promotion to company. These are the fighters I promote. I promote, and I'm out to beat the other team. It's just not how it is, you know. It, you know, when I felt like when I fought against mm-hmm. Terrence, I definitely felt like, or felt like I had a PBC, PBC team with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, Brittany was was around, and she, you know, they were all handling things, and it was no. They're just promoting the fight. But you're you're our fighter. We, yeah. We're supporting here. You yeah. and it was definitely like shout out to Britney because hey, I've seen Britney do some shit behind the scenes. She don't play. Yeah, if you rock with Britney, you on Britney's squad. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And so, but why not? Yeah. Why not have it that way? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where it's team against team. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And nobody, nobody. I don't know. I don't understand the behind the scenes. Just go with that. Like the the economics of the fights. Mm-hmm. Like why you wouldn't do. Like, how is it that Gervonta Davis and uh, Ryan Garcia, we know that that fight makes a whole lot of money. Now, why isn't it? Why is it that other fights that don't make that kind of money mm-hmm. don't make sense? Why does it? Ha- why do they have to make that much money in for the, in order for the fight to make for sense? me be able to do business with you? Yeah, exactly. Like, why? You know, I always wonder why that's, that's, has I don't understand. someone. I, don't know. Oh, I mean, I guess you probably don't care that much, but. If I had the billions, I'd buy them all out. All four of y'all. Mm-hmm. And I, I wonder if, I'm pretty sure behind the scenes this has happened, but my pride, I'm not selling it, Sean. Hey, Sean, I got a billion dollars for you. You think I'm about to sell my business to you? Even with a billion dollars? Even if I'm not making a billion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pr- you know this dude's old school? Yeah, yeah. You think, I can't see Bob selling the, to Al. Yeah. Or vice versa. Over my dead body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just being honest. It's just, that's, I mean, because I think boxing would be so much better if we all was under one, one solid banner. Sure. I wouldn't like you guys as boxers to suffer the pay. Sure. That I see UFC suffers on the one banner. Uh-huh. That I don't like. Yeah. That is my biggest worry yeah. if boxer ever came under one banner. Yeah. Because I'll pay, what you, what are you going to do? Yeah. Go fight in a semi? There's nothing else. Yeah. There's yeah. Nothing so else I do. wouldn't like that. Yeah. That's my only other thing. But yeah. I don't know. Because uh, this new digital age, I think we still get the fights. It's just where we're going to find the fights. Yeah. And I think it's just PBC. Everybody else is already on digital. Yeah. Yeah. So. I you know, can't watch fights on the Showtime app? Uh, I'd never have, but I'm pretty we sure. You might be able yeah, to. Yeah. yeah. But other than outside of that, yeah. yeah. There's not much. Yeah. And that's how I felt when. Um, I was just thinking about this today. Like I never received an email. If I did, I didn't. I never saw it. Uh, so maybe I should hunt this email down. Possibly. Well, so I didn't say? receive anything from Fox letting me know that oh, oh. things are terminated. We're not coming back. Nothing like that. Now, when when the Inside PBC show because the pandemic was done, mm-hmm. you know, um, we got the email. You know, letting us know. Oh, okay. You know, the, the show is no more. Great time. So it's still blah, a blah, chance blah. PBC is on Fox? Absolutely not. You never got the email though. But this is what I do know. Uh-huh. Once I realized that Fox wasn't doing boxing no more, even though I haven't never received the email, I said, what what AH got up his belt, uh, got up his sleeve. Yeah. Cause he's gonna do something. Yeah. And I knew it was only a matter of time. I knew that boxing wasn't going to just solely live on Showtime. Not that mm-hmm. Showtime can't can't host yeah. 
every PBC fight that that there is, but I just felt like there's got to be something else. What else is he going to do? And of course, we we've been hearing r- rumors and whispers that this Amazon Prime thing is going to happen, which makes a whole lot of sense mm-hmm. for boxing in general, but then it also makes a whole lot of sense for PBC, mm-hmm. the only promotional team not under a digital banner for the second mm-hmm. word. So, um I haven't been surprised to hear that Amazon is, you know, been there's talks of PBC mm. being on Amazon. You like it? I love it. I, I love it even more if uh, Port Away gets on Amazon. Yeah. Shout out to Amazon. I just yeah. ordered something from You got somebody's number? Uh, no, we get, we have an email we got to get, though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got to make a phone call. Now, what if I go without you? Uh, go without me, I'm coming. You gonna you gonna be yeah. in my in my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. in my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. No, I love you, man. No, no, no. Take no, you everywhere I, I go. Yeah, I know. Take you you know. I go. Man, people people always say, "Oh, are you not in stuff?" Yeah. I be like, "Hey, man, he representing the port away." Yeah. I don't know why people get so. I people get mad. It be hot. Where you at? You're not in the commercial. But where you at? I'm like, that's how we have to move. You're right not now. in the commercial. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now you was on uh, Floyd, uh yeah. Kevin Hart thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. You wasn't on. Uh, People, that's what people. Million dollars worth of game. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm like, that's how we have to move. Yeah, the face has to move the yeah. right way. Yeah, and I support them. You got to be a team player. Yeah. That's why a lot of people it, stuff don't work out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Espinoza, I think it's mm-hmm. we, we we can see that there may have been some company lines that he mm-hmm. spit to us. When you know what yeah, was that two weeks ago? Yeah, was that? He, got, he got it off. Yeah, <laughs> he said he got it off because <laughs> that was a switch real quick. You think he coming on at the end of the year? I asked him to come back on. I not for this. I literally want to hear how he feels about the, the landscape transition. of boxing. Okay. Remember, I told him I said I want to talk to you about this year. This was a big year for yeah, boxing. Yeah. I've had. I'm again. Y'all already know that I'm not a boxing, really not a boxing even enthusiast. But I'm not a boxing historian where mm-hmm. I don't know boxing through the years yeah. and years. But it, like, um, you asked Naeem. Uh, was is this the best year of boxing? He said, "No, nah, this ain't." And it's like, whoa! In our minds, mm-hmm. based on what we've seen mm-hmm. since we've been doing this podcast in the last three years, this is this is the best it's not year. Even close, yeah. It's not even close compared to the last three years. But when you can talk about the decade ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. two decades ago, a lot like what Espinosa, I hope mm-hmm. can will come on and give us. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I want to hear. You know what he thinks about this year. Because like even with the Naeem thing, I think you, I consider it all PBC been putting off. They had the best year. Yeah. PBC won the year. I, I didn't read much yeah. anybody else can do to top them. No. But top rank with all them young cats yeah. fighters. Yeah. They was right there behind them with all the young guys mm-hmm. and, and pushing them and right yeah. on everybody. Most of it's like the Olympic team and yeah, all the young guys they're pushing. Top rank's been doing it too. So. Yeah. PBC top rank, but PBC obviously they won the year. They, the fights they was able to put together and mm-hmm. make on their side, hell mm-hmm. of a year. Mm-hmm. It was a hell of a year of boxing. Yeah, we still got what three more months basically. Yeah, two and a half. Yeah, but if you had to guess, would you say that Showtime will not be hosting boxing next year? Uh, yeah. If I had to guess, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's above Stephen. Yeah, that that's that's yeah. the thing. I think he got the. And that's how I felt he about Fox. got pressure above him. Yeah. Yeah. Because I knew people over there that that loved boxing and wanted yeah. boxing to be there. Yeah. And then when everybody went quiet on everything, it was like, this is just above y'all. Yeah. Because y'all don't have a decision. Y'all yeah. don't, you know what I mean? Y'all, there's nothing y'all can do about yeah, it. Yeah, when people hit me with stuff and I don't ever get back to you, it's above me. <laughs> but here's, here's the good thing. What? Even if PBC goes to Amazon, mm-hmm. you will still get Showtime on Prime. It's my chance, y'all. It's my chance. Oh my god! This is my I'm like, hold on. How they gonna go? Oh, okay. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, cause I've I've had people for so long. Why aren't you on Showtime? It makes so much sense. Yeah. They have their team. Yeah. And that's that's what they do. You know what I mean? Um, I've I, never seen a situation where where uh, Abner was sick, where any of those mm-hmm, guys were yeah. sick. You know. I can't imagine if somebody was sick and they needed somebody to fill in, they wouldn't call me. You know what I mean? But now, it's all up for grabs, baby. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. you, you're one of the best ones to ever do it out there behind the mic. And I definitely think you should be play by play. If not, what do you and what do you call it when you and Kate is up top? Because you got to have Kate. That's a host. That's, okay. I, yeah. I like that too. But what yeah. would you, 
It don't matter. Just say it. Don't I, no, no, don't. don't. Uh, <laughs> it, don't it don't even matter, baby. It don't even matter. Just make make sure we in the arena. Got it, got it. You can't you can't give it to them. They were like, ah, Sean, I don't want that. Nah, yeah. nah, put us in the ring, baby. Yeah, yeah. Get us in there. But yeah, you know, I love Kate too. I don't know Kate personally, but yeah. I love what Kate does. Kate is exclusive, I believe, with CBS now. Oh, okay. I well, believe. Excuse me, big shot. It's a big, Mr. The big, big stuff. Shot. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, I like but that. But at, at the end of the day, I do think that there could be room for me to do something on, on, on the Amazon yeah. um, platform if that's the way that PBC decides to go. And of course... You know, this podcast, I think that it's more, we've shown ourselves to be more than worthy yeah. of of hosting. A weekly show? A, yeah. Anything. Anything at yeah. this point. You know, you know? we're, we're going to be at everything. We're going we're gonna to be there anyway. Yeah, we're we coming. <laughs> we're coming no matter what. We'll pay us. Yeah. We won't be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're coming no matter what. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. It's, it's, it's change. Yeah. People fear change. Yeah. Sometimes change is the best thing. Yeah. Change was one of the biggest things I did. I changed something in my life. It was the best thing for me. Yeah. But people fear change. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. So yeah. just go get it, man. I'm reminded of a couple of things. Um, I re- there was a time uh, when PBC was on FS1 and mm-hmm. Joe and Lennox both, they had. there was a situation where they were hanging out and one of them tested positive for uh, COVID. COVID, yeah. And they called me same day. Can you can you get in? Mm-hmm. Can you come in and do the show? I missed the first flight because it just the timing yeah. of them calling and me getting to the airport. I got on the, on the second flight, and I mean I'm literally walking in as they're going live, and I got my hair hairpiece in and microphone up as they're coming to me, and then come to find out I didn't know who was fighting that night. I didn't need to study anything, yeah. but I knew the fighters. So you know boxing, and I could could and I and it just it was a flawless yeah. night. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you go from doing that, and yes, I'm definitely selling myself right now yeah. in terms of what I can do. I'm going to Australia again this week, mm-hmm. and this will be my third trip yeah, to Australia yeah, yeah. this year. Shout out to Tim. We're gonna get to Tim because yeah. he'll be fighting. It's <laughs> Tim is clean out the one fifty four by fighting. himself. <laughs> All right, go yeah yeah, and then um and then and then I got one more trip in November. Where you going? When I go can over you, there, can you say that? Can you Australia. That was another fight. So Tim, Tim's fighting this month, and then his brother Nikita will be fighting oh, okay. in November. Okay. And when I go over there, man, them dudes, they give me the reins. Okay. They, you know, they they know boxing, and the people that where I work with some great people over there that do the TV over there, but they know that this is my arena, and they know that I've been doing this for a long time. So, you know. For me to have the ability to go to a foreign country and work with people I've never worked with before, mm-hmm. and the shows are flawless, you know what I mean? It's, I'm what's, really good at what I do, y'all. For, uh, really good. What's the date for November? Beginning? Uh, middle, I believe. Okay. Yeah, mid-November. Hey man, wh- before Thanksgiving. Shout out to PBC, man. Speaking of Thanksgiving, hey man, what's going on, man? What's going on, PBC? <laughs> y'all know it's Thanksgiving. Y'all trying to fight. You know Sean going to want to work. He a psychopath. Shout out to DD8. DD8, I'm trying to make something happen for you, bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because they talking about here in Vegas. Yeah. So, I mean, I can make it every day for Thursday. Bring the family. We'll, we'll host a big dinner. <laughs> nah, you know, but, hey, stuff. shout out to DD8, man. Dane ain't coming. Dane already said he ain't going to be What'd here. What'd you make think? Should, I think. Uh. <laughs> you didn't think about You didn't see our text messages we've been texting? No. Nah, oh, okay. I right, cool. Cool. All right. Shout out. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to PBC. Hey, shout out to the fighters that can't eat. I guess you, Thanksgiving's going to be on Sunday. Is that is the fight been announced? No. It's the fight's happening. Okay, I'm gonna say that right now. Yeah, right. the fight's happening, but I'll, please don't be on Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> but the fight, well, no matter what, unless the fight is fight before. And good, man, that sucks. My whole I might life. retire. My yeah. whole life, bro. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. You been? I think you've been on a couple of Thanksgivings yeah, right? where you ain't where you seen me eating <laughs> finger foods. Yeah, I'm like, My dude. whole life, bro. And this is what I found out. <laughs> Uh, Thanksgiving is overrated. <laughs> First off, hold on. <laughs> Rewind. I survived 364 days to make it the one. Thanksgiving. Okay? Is that your favorite holiday? Favorite holiday. Not yeah, even. duh. Not, why? Hey, How? what do you mean? You know, what do you, I get all the best the best food in the world. How many houses you go to? I am the house. Okay? <laughs> You've been in my house. You know I, I am the house. Okay? Ain't no going. I, don't need, I go from... 
One servant, another servant, okay? So Tim be fighting. Huh? <laughs> what? Get your, get your mind off food, man. Oh, my bad. You my said bad. it. You said it. So Tim be fighting. Tim yeah, be fighting. Hey, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Tim, man. Tim Zoo. Because, you know, a lot of people sit, a lot of fighters sit back and just wait for the opportunity to get somebody. And obviously, Tim's been, I think this fight's been supposed to happen since the beginning of the year. This time last year, the Charlo fight. Yeah, last It's been a year. while. Yeah. But instead of him sitting around just waiting, he started fighting mm -hmm. and fighting. Another mm -hmm. top 10 opponent, another top 10. He's literally to clean out the division by himself mm -hmm. while he waits on Charlo. Yeah. Got awarded a belt. And I'm, I think he earned the belt. I mean, he didn't take it from the guy. Yeah. But he did the best he could. Yeah. The second best thing he could do to get the belt. Yeah. You ain't fighting me. I'm going to keep fighting everybody. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to him and Brian Mendoza. I was going to say, if anything, you say Brian Mendoza cleaned out the other side of... Of, yeah. of the what of the super welterweight division, and you know, and they they like that the big last knockout two, against Fondora. Last two standing, uh, Brian Mendoza. I think he has a WBC interim. Uh huh. Uh, so I don't know if Tim if Tim beats him, he takes that, or I mean, if the uh, Brian beats Tim, he holds up both belts. Yeah. I, I, who knows how that who works? Who knows? We yeah. Just, yeah. Let's talk about the names. But uh, shout out to Brian Mendoza, uh, man. Hell of a knockout of the what they what they the fire in front I don't know towering inferno tower inferno I know it's a big ass fire I, well, it was a fire uh, a couple of months ago my man went down but uh, yeah he, he ended up getting the upset Sean had him on the next week I don't know where was I at uh, the guy he has a puncher chance and he what I like about him he fights he I ain't got nothing to lose yeah that's his attitude yeah be smart. Yeah. Because Tim got that equalizer. Yeah. But I think this Styles makes fights, and I think it'll be energetic, great fight for as long as it lasts. Mm -hmm. I worry about uh, Brian, just the pressure and just the firefight that he get caught in uh -huh. the firefight. And the Cinderella, Cinderella story comes to an end. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, he, you're right. He's truly living like a Cinderella type yeah. of story right now. Um, I think that... What I've from what I've seen from Brian, mm -hmm. he has this like tentative style mm -hmm. where it's like it's almost like he's indecisive. Yeah. But he but it it's, it could just be his rhythm because yeah. it's like he's indecisive, but then he's effective with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, not a crazy high punch output. Um, just just good. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. at, at some things. You know, like he can move. He can get. He can get away. He can move. He can lure you in. A solid fighter. Yeah, but That's, but he like, ain't sharp. I'm yeah. a, I'm here here. Yeah, yeah, I deterred yeah. you and then da 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 da. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's just a solid Do good everything boxer. Right, a good. Yeah, just Real a solid good. good boxer. Um, we saw the KO against Fondora. Yeah. And while a hellacious punch thrown right there, you got to also figure in the momentum that that Leaning Fondora to, that, to the side. yeah that Fondora brought yeah. into that punch not discrediting his power but i don't think he has what you would consider true charlo yeah. one punch or tim Zoo. or can you say charlo anymore yeah give him credit still 154 all right you still get credit uh yeah. you, he don't have that kind of knockout power you know what i mean so um yeah it's kind of like it's like gas tank against gas tank with this one Mm. Which could be a fun, which is gonna be a fun fight mm. to watch. You know, hey, your gas can't go go forever unless you catch a flat. I like what I like. I think again, like y'all should know by now, that I'm a big fan of Tim Zoo. Like I've seen him like yeah. grow up in some ways. You know what I mean? Talk to him. He's he is locked locked in. But what I like about this fight, this camp, he did his camp here in, in Las Vegas. Oh, Tim's here. Mm -hmm. Why? No, no, no. He's not here anymore. But. Why? Yeah. When you have when when you because I this is how it was for me in Cleveland. When you clean up your city and you the king of your city, it's time for you to go where you are prince. Okay. You can't you can't stay in, in the city and just be a king there. You don't grow up. You don't you don't learn. You don't you don't improve, expand. And so by Tim coming over here, we got different styles over here. He's going to see a lot of different things a lot of work in three Vegas. weeks over here yeah. that he would see being the king in Australia. Mm. You get out of your comfort zone. You know what I mean? You get out of whatever waitress and, and waiters and waitresses you got at the house. Not to say that he do, yeah. but it's that kind of mentality and mold over there. 
So for him to come out of that mode and come into, let me humble myself and see who I am here in the States, mm -hmm. challenge myself and and kind of get that experience against American fighters, you know, it makes him even better for this fight. You know what I mean? So Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from because like you was here for like 10 years and a couple camps, you took your camps to actually DC. Yeah. And you was there DC for a month. See? A whole different style because it's like I've seen everything in Vegas. I would you used to spar so much here. I can go I can only go to so many well, other nobody gyms. Nobody messing with me yeah. over there at, at, at Mayweather's and all them and all yeah. them gyms. We start we were flying in guys yeah. to train with me and stuff like that. You know, Boo Boo's been here, mm -hmm. Brandon Adams has been here, you know, Brandon um Lynch has been there. a number of guys that we brought in. Mm -hmm. But then my dad was like, Yeah, you gotta you gotta it's time to get out of here. Yeah. This is now your comfort zone and we gotta get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So why are you talking about Tim? Being the busiest fighter in boxing, yeah, and he and he and he third fight this year, and, and he he, that's the best move boxer, in boxing right now. The best, what did you say? Moved boxer, okay, in boxing, okay. But then you take it a step further, and it's like, okay, you could be busy, mm -hmm. but what are you doing while you're busy? And again, he he is finding ways to not allow himself to be comfortable. He's finding ways to challenge himself. And that way, you know, when fight night comes, he is the best man in the ring. Okay. I think, yeah, that's what I think. This fight, I'm my prediction, I got Tim eighth round stoppage. Ooh, where you get this from? I Whenever somebody tell me what round somebody going to lose in. Oh, just because it's, it's like something you have to do. How? I'm pretty, I'm, 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 I'm literally 0%. <laughs> I hit one fight. And I remember somebody hitting me back. I'm like, Do you know what fight that was? No, I know. Yeah. Uh, I get lucky every once in the blue moon. But yeah. Yeah. I, I, okay. Knockout. Oh, knockout. But it just seemed like I don't know. You you compare stuff. I mean, last fight he knocked dude out in one round. So, and I think Tony Harrison was nine. So it's just like, eh. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like you said. I just think these guys are the last ones left. Uh, winner. I, I some people say they don't even want to see Charlo fight. They want to see him fight uh, Crawford. They don't, some people don't even want to see Charlo fight again. I don't even and think then, Charlo's going back to one fifty four. So the problem is, my man just had a great payday. One thing I don't, and I give y'all all the credit. Y'all deserve time off. When boxers get big paydays, especially when you fight like a Canelo or Floyd, we wouldn't <laughs> see y'all for like a year. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're not gonna see this dude till next summer, if at all. F at all. Yeah, Sean did say he don't see him come back 154. The beating he took at that level, I think he realized I probably can't compete up here, though. I wonder if he cashed in. You think that was it? I wonder. Uh, well, if you... the pro, well, So, I want to see... I still want to see Tim Charlo begin a year. I think Charlo... <laughs> I, I think Charlo effed up by... I mean, I can't... Injuries happen. By not fighting him... A year ago, you let this boy get better, gain more confidence, seeing you get beat. Yeah. And his level of confidence coming as a world champion, I'm the real undisputed. He going to have all that in his head when he fights you. Mm -hmm. So his confidence level's up here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where you at after that. Yeah. So I worry about Charlo for that. I still think Charlo does his thing at 154. I, I still will ask Charlo in the, the Tim Zoo fight. But it's still a lot, and and Brian Mendoza has something to say about all this. Yeah, I want to see how this fight plays out. I want to see. I do think that Tim will win this fight. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's. I mean, it's pretty close to fifty fifty. I think you give an edge to Tim, based on what I've seen out of him and his improvements in his last now uh, now three fights in his last. Oh, no, no, excuse me, his last two fights. Mm -hmm. um, I think that. <sighs> I think Tim is the better boxer. Yeah. Yeah. I go with Tim the better boxer. I think Brian is more athletic. I think Brian is smarter, but mm. Tim's style and he's confident in his style, I think that offsets the intellect that Brian brings. And what I mean by that is, mm -hmm. let's say, um, let's say my thing is timing. And I think that that's one of Brian's biggest keys to him is his timing. And I got my rhythm set up and my timing, but but Brian, but Tim is just like, I'm catching and I'm coming. Yeah. I don't care about your timing. And and it's like your timing and your your intellect and ability to read me 
are you going to be able to read everything that I'm bringing? You know what I mean? So I think it offsets. Is this a fight of will versus skills? And I've seen Will beat a lot of skills, Sean. Well, because Tim's got skills too now. And then Brian Mendoza skills got, have improved. Yeah, and Brian Mendoza has the will. Yeah, it's basically like a it's it's a what, what we, Ugas. Yeah, it's a second career. Yeah, this is his. He got with that knockout. How did he get that fight? Did somebody drop out of that? Fandora. E, great question. I, 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 I thought it was something. That. I know. Yeah. I just thought <laughs> something like that happened. Yeah. But he it, once he got his moment, he capitalized on his moment. I'm over here like, you can't do that kind of shit on I know. Pride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Try to tighten up, baby. Yeah, man, I don't know. Somebody dropped out of that fire. We're oh. going to come in here with glasses next week. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. Just, hey. It's the same <laughs> But overall, I think we'll get a good fight this week. Uh, Sean will be there calling in for Fox Sports Australia. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yes, so sir. how how can we illegally stream that to get you in, Man, America, in the I, states? I've never illegally streamed anything. So, with that being said, oh, that's so my. I don't hey, know. I'm guilty. <laughs> well, I definitely not boxing. What are you I'm doing? Not, like, do you type something in? I mean, why are you snitching? Why you think I was just you give up on myself? Snitch on fans. yourself. You see the fans? Do you see they just rest the dude that uh, murdered Tupac? I'm gonna get arrested for for. Uh, for, uh, like you don't even know that. No, I ain't know that. Yeah. What you been doing? Yeah. Way back in the day? He, guess where he was living? Cobalt. Henderson? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good guess. Uh -huh. I, I, at first I thought you meant like a place. <laughs> but no, nah, he was in Henderson. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what else we got going on in the boxing world, Sean? Man, nothing. Let's get out of here. Is, is that it? Uh, quick, quick little show today. Shout out to Showbiz. Uh, took my boy back to the to to his room last week. That dude's a big ball of energy, Sean. Love his love his energy. Hey, you know I watch. I watch. Uh, Fantasy football, baby. Me, me and the lady watched uh, Robert one of Robert's shows. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Robert and and the uh, one on uh, the one that he got on Hulu. Tubi. On Tubi, yeah. The the N words uh, network. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it out loud. But shout out to Robert on there doing his thing. I shouted him out. I gotta watch the next one on BET. I know you ain't watch none of his shows. No, it's me. You know, I get to. Him. I get to. Him. How's your acting skills? You getting better? Man, I'm a beast, y'all. Y'all just, I can't wait for it too. I can't okay. Wait for it. Okay. I got a motivational message for y'all, mm -hmm. and then we are gonna get up out of here. Don't, don't forget to say what I, I got you. I All got right. You. I did Um, I've been going through some things, y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I've been going through, but I've been going through. And um, I'm still alive. And so, you know, I just keep pushing, keep doing my thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I always like to tell people, like, don't get it misunderstood that because I can smile through what I got going on and I can laugh yeah. through what I got going on, that I don't care about what's going on. Yeah. You know? And a lot of times people get get that yeah. misunderstood because I do got I got to keep it moving. Yeah. How you go to go how you get to go do the show and we still got this going on yeah. in the house. I if I it. don't if I don't keep it moving yeah. then the house won't keep moving, you yeah. know what I mean? So I I got to keep doing what I'm doing but um my uh my stepfather was in town this past week uh and my mom is still here and uh he got a very good glimpse of uh some of the things that I've been dealing with mm -hmm. and um he gave me some he said it and he actually said it over the phone. And I was like, you, you got to say that again because it blew my mind. And so I want to shout out my stepfather. Um, been married to my mom for 17 years now. Good um, dude, man. Yeah, great dude. They're down in Macon, Georgia. Don't look them up because they're not going to um, let you in the house. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, he gave me some, some great words of wisdom. And I'm going to use that this week. I want you guys to just... Something we've never done, and I'm actually I'm gonna look on to the comments. You guys listen to what I say as you decipher it and ingest it. Just kind of tell me what you think about it and let me know if it's helped you. I'm gonna get into the to the chat this week. I'm gonna ignore all of the bad things that y'all say about me and just look look at the good stuff that y'all say specifically about this um this uh motivational message. Next week I'll read some of those comments on the show. So um, shout us out, all that good stuff. We love hearing from y'all. I know mm -hmm. Ant does. Yeah. And uh, I'll be paying some more attention to y'all as well. Um, God bless you guys. And I will leave you with this by um, Reverend um, Leary Watson. He told me, he seen what I was going through. He said, hold your head up and stay strong. 
the clouds are going to move. And when they're gone, you're going to see that your feet were on the ground all along. This is the portal way.